this week I've been focusing on creating, restoring, and deleting your Nandroid backups. Now, if you have followed along on the full tutorial on my website, you will have noticed a note, a little warning that I put up talking about a bug that some people are experiencing. What happens is if you do not go through the security and disable your pin pattern or password, then after you restore an Android backup, Android might not be able to recognize your proper pin pattern or passcode password. Meaning, even though you're putting it in correctly, Android might tell you that's wrong and it won't let you boot into Android. So now I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to need to reboot the OnePlus 3 into recovery mode. If you're not sure how to do that, then again, look in the description below and check the full tutorial. As I have included links with um, that, that show exactly how to boot your device into recovery mode. So after you have gotten the error that your pin pattern and password is incorrect, when you try to boot into Android, you're going to need to reboot into recovery mode like we are here. Then we need to tap on mount and we're going to need to mount the system partition. Once the system partition is mounted, all you have to do is check that box, press the home button. Then we're going to go into advanced and then file manager. Once we're in file manager, we're going to look for the data folder and then scroll down and tap on the system folder. Once we're in data system, we're going to scroll down and locate the lock settings.db file. So just tap on lock settings.db and then we're going to delete this file. Swipe the white arrows to confirm. I'm going to tap on back even though we got those errors. Now you can see that lock settings.db file is gone. Once that file is done, gone, press the home button. Press the reboot button and press on system. Now when you saw me reboot into recovery mode, it asked for my pattern to boot in there because I had a pattern set up along with my fingerprint. And now that I've deleted that lock settings.db file, even though I had to input the pattern before booting into Android, the actual pattern is, is not required anymore. You can see I can lock the device, wake it up, and unlock it without having to put that pattern in. And see where our device security for the lock screen is set on swipe instead of it being on pattern like it was.